What's up everybody? It's your vegan girl boss, VGB. Y'all know me and today I am back with another video. I am going to be showing you how I did my entryway. First, I started off by just doing the entryway rug. Um, I got one of the rugs from the five and below for $3 and then I put a piece of my table runner from Dollar Tree on it. I cut it and hot glued it and to the other rug and then taped that down and that's how I came up with that. Um, and then I moved over to my little like nook area for or command area for where, you know, my boys put their book bags where I put my purse and, you know, just a kind of catch all place for when you walk into the house. So I started off by um, adding some hooks or trying to make some modern looking hooks Um without using the little beep 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 thing to find the drywall so yeah my husband might get a little mad if he watches this video to see how i did it but i just kept testing until i found the uh, stud and that is not the way you should do it but i was tired so um uh, moving on um i found um studs and i also used anchors for some of them once i thought about doing that um, I also figured out a really fast way to make the joint compound dry on the wall faster when you're filling holes, and that's just to use a hair dryer. If you didn't know, I thought you had to wait like 24 hours or so, but I was like, hey, let me just try hair dryer. Then I'm just touching it up with the same color paint, and I'm hair drying that, and then I am just testing to see, you know, how things are going to look all laid out and put in the entryway section we walk through the front door not the garage because my husband has a wrestling ring in the garage so we always come through the front door and so we need a place where we can keep things i also um put uh some little bins up there prior to this video and i have one for mass one for things that i need to take out like mail or whatever something that i just put i think i put don't forget on the label and then I have one for uh, cold items like my boys um, gloves and hats and stuff like that. And then, um, yeah, I went over to the reef and did that, got that over with. I guess I'm waiting for the paint to dry a little bit longer. And then I'm adding these um, things that you put on the bottom of the of, of your furniture, like chairs and things. I'm adding those to the bottom, not to the bottom. I'm adding those to uh, to the nails. So I hot glued those to the nails to make it look like modern um, hooks, I guess. And so, yeah, I just hot glued those. And so you see how that kind of gives you a modern hook vibe or whatever. So that's kind of what I thought about there. But yeah, they're just like things you put on the bottom of the chairs to stop them from scratching up your floor. Uh, they were pretty inexpensive. Um, I'm pretty sure I could have find, found some nice enough hooks as well, but this is what I had at the time and I thought it would be cool on the wall. Just another way to use those floor stopper situations. Um, but yeah, so that's how this area turned out. I also added a little light that I've been using in all of my, um, videos pretty much, uh, just so that you can sit under there and read or, you know, just chill there just to create a little space. And then over here is like my boho um, section. I got the inspiration from Pinterest. Um, yeah, my husband was trying to tell me that it was a little off. You see that point over there, but I like things to not be exactly perfect. Like, you know what I mean? Like this is my art, this is my masterpiece, my home. And so, yeah, I mean, I just kind of go with it and decorate around it and do what you gotta do. So. Um, yeah, I'm just adding some little knickknacks here. I got a, a place for our keys and then a place for our sunglasses on this side as well as a mirror. Just see if you look cute when you're walking out. So yeah, I have painted that. I used um, a nail in the center and then I used a piece of thread or yarn and then I drew a, a circle like that and then I used some painter's tape to make the circular situation i'm sure you all can find a a better explanation on pinterest or youtube on another video if i find something i can link it down below but i've seen multiple places where they're doing these um painted arch situations this is our reef yeah it's 
it looks cute so yeah this is our entryway situation from the inside of our home um and yeah it didn't take me too long to do this so yeah i hope you all enjoy the video i'll catch y'all next time thank you for watching have a good one